Hi there. In this video, I want to create a web page that has a form that when a user types in, uh, chooses a category and some keywords, they can pull out a specific search from a database. So I've already created a little database here. It's my books database, and I've got uh, several generic ISBN numbers. I've got several authors, book titles, and I've also put in some prices. Uh, most of these are the var care, the variable character. Uh, data type and I used a decimal data type for the price so my database is set up and I've got some mock data to play with so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna jump over to my editor of choice notepad plus plus and I'm gonna create a connection file so this will simply be a PHP file where I'm gonna put in some constants to describe the very uh, the username the host address for my database so I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple here Okay, so <clears throat> here's my database user. I'm also going to have database password, host, database name. Password I'm using for today is going to be case host and the database name so this is what I'm going to use ultimately to connect and let me go ahead and create a variable for connection Excellent. And once this connection file is created, then I can refer to it when necessary on my other files. So I'm going to go ahead and do a file save as, and I'll save this to my desktop. I'll call it uh, connect.php. Okay, I've got that particular file created. Next on the agenda is I'm going to go ahead and create a web page with a basic form. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit through uh, most of this setup here. There we go. So I've uh, created a head section with some basic uh, embedded styles. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to be displaying the results of my search with a table. So there I've got uh, a table and I've set the background color. And I'm going to use some table header cells and I'm making those left aligned and setting 150 pixels width. So then, now I'm getting into the portion where I'm going to actually create the form itself. And the form I want to use here. method equals post and action I'm gonna have this lead on to this exact same web page so my web page is gonna have both my PHP script and my form for containing it so it'll refer to itself I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, uh, search one dot PHP I haven't actually saved my web page yet here I'll call it search one dot PHP go ahead and get a closing form tag in there input type equals hidden, name equals submitted, value equals true. This will come in handy so this will ensure that the results will only display once somebody has submitted the form and not just automatically. And then what I'm going to set up inside of here are going to be a couple very common form elements. Nothing tricky so I'll fast forward right through this. There we go. So um, I'm going to have a search category, which is going to be a selection drop down menu. It's going to prompt the user to submit either you want to search by ISBN, author, or title. And then I'm going to have a basic text box for them to type in their search criteria. Let me go ahead and take a moment to save this. I'm going to go ahead and do a file save as. I'm saving to my desktop. This is going to be called search1.php. There we go. So this is what I have so far. Now beneath my form is where I'm going to create my PHP script which will display the results. 
So I am going to need a set of PHP tags. And I'm going to do a number of things in here. Um, I like to start off with an if statement just to make sure that none of this is going to happen until somebody actually submits the form. So I will go ahead and put in an if statement. And I always like to open and close these right away so I'm really clear. And what I'll be checking for is if the form has been submitted. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a, an is set function. Is set empty set of parentheses and within the parentheses I'm going to go ahead and put in post submitted. Okay. So if the form has been submitted then I'm going to do all the things in between these sets of curly braces. First thing I'll do is connect to the database. And since I created that connection PHP file just a second ago, this is going to be even easier. All I really need to do here is do an include of my connect.php file. And that'll take care of that part. The next thing I'll do is I'll create some variables. Category and criteria. These variables are going to come from the form. So for instance back on my form I've got a category named selection box. So when the person chooses a select item from their drop down menu this is the category they want to search by. The criteria will be the keyword they type into the text box. So my category is going to be generated from the post from the form. There's the category. And the criteria. There we go. And I'll go ahead and do another variable, which is going to be my actual query. And I'm going to select all fields from my books table where my category is equal to my criteria. That'll be my query. And the result of my query, oops, and what did I do? There we go, I forgot my quote mark there at the beginning of that query. Okay, so color coding comes in handy. And my result is going to be MySQLI query function or die. Okay. Now for the MySQLI query, I'm going to go ahead and put in my DB connect variable, comma, my query variable. Now the db connect variable, the dbcon variable is simply, simply what I used on my connection script. So there's my dbcon variable. My query variable of course represents my SQL statement that I'm using to select my data with. And the die function is going to be simply my error message if for some reason I can't get this data. So I'll just put in error getting data. Okay, that takes care of that. Now I can start to display the results of my search. And I'll start to incorporate this into the next part of this video.